What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to take a second to dish on this uh, FIFA, the video game. Which, it, it's been a bad week with FIFA, let's just, just won't say that point blank. Um, is, and I, I played FIFA enough in college on the, on the Xbox, uh, on the inputs of alcohol, it's not probably the world's worst FIFA player. Uh, NHL 14 was more of my game, my senior year of college, for that to handle that. Uh, it, they're adding women's national teams to the video game, which I think is a, is a great move. Um, you know, definitely building the women's sport and women's soccer, and then obviously the uh, women's World Cup is this summer, um, obviously. So that's a great opportunity in that regard. Um, but you know, someone asked about the possibility of adding women's hockey to uh, to uh, you know the NHL series video games. I like it. I love the idea. Cami Granado and someone else. I can't remember like, who the second player is. It's gonna drive me nuts thinking of it. Um, I don't know if it's organized or not. They're available on the Legend teams. Um, and they should be, obviously, both Hall of Famers. Uh, but, you know, I, I, Wigan Heiser will be in the Hall of Fame at the end of the day. And Granados will, you know, a pioneer for the women's sport, both in the U.S. and, and you know, on the world stage. Uh, but I, the biggest thing, the biggest issue with the, especially the U.S. national team, is the amount of collegiate players. Uh, that's always going to be a pissing match. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to piss on anyone's parade right now, but that's just the reality of the situation. You know, using a player like Alex Carpenter or, you know, Lee Stagline, whoever, um, you know, coin, what have you, while they're still NCAA athletes, is, you know, always a point of contention. Um, just because, you know, the NCAA has got kind of hair across sass over everything. And with the majority, and actually the majority, a good portion of the U.S. and the Canadian women's national teams uh, still playing college hockey, um, still in the NCAA ranks, uh, it's definitely a difficult situation. Um, that would be the biggest hurdle for it. I don't think the NHL games would be opposed to it. I mean, you know, you, you can play as a you know German pro team or you know the the Ukrainian national team. I don't think playing as the U.S. or Canadian women's teams. Would uh would be too hard to to get in the game, and I think enough people would, would definitely enjoy. It. I mean, hell, above my left and right shoulders, uh, I get some, some pretty good representations of uh, you know, the way I, I highly I think of women's hockey. So, um, again, something I want to see, but that NCA loophole would be the biggest um, you know, issue so to speak. But again, I'd definitely love to have Hillary Knight go on top shelf. Uh, on Chan Zavados and uh, NHL 15 over a couple cold ones, my buddies, any night. So, uh, I'm team, put the women in uh, NHL 15. Anyway, that's all I got to start of the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys. Oh.